Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over a first look of Linux Mint here. Uh, I recently went to college this morning for classes and everything, and when I signed or when I yeah signed into my computer on Ubuntu and went on the web, went to distrowatch.com, and when I refresh, at first I didn't see that. It's all just the frugalware and then when I refreshed it after a bit because I just kept I just do that once in a while Linux Mint came up and I was like oh wow so I shared that with everyone on the Twill uh, community on the IRC that I joined and I uh, like to help out and um, hang out with them as well um, and if you like to join, I, I'll post that in the description. So, anyways, uh, I was going to go over the Linux Mint uh, 10 RC and show you what's been improved and get you an idea and feel of what it's like. So, over to the Linux Mint blog here. This is where uh, I downloaded it and it showed some screenshots and some information. So, the team is per, is it proud to pronounce or announce the uh, release of Linux Mint 10 RC. Yay! And see, there's a picture of it right here. Um, new features at the glance: welcome screen and install codecs. Upgrade to the DVD edition from your welcome screen. That's very handy for uh, those who don't have DVD drives. But I may be wrong. Uh, the menu. I love the menu because now they have GTK uh, bookmark support and GTK theme support. Um, and it also they have like a search button or whatever in there, a search bar. And you can search or find your software or your um, packages. Very nice because then you don't have to uh, go to the update manager if you don't want to. Uh, your software manager better. Uh, categorization icons um, update manager you got your you, uh, nor you can ignore your updates so if you update uh, or the upload manager sorry about that upload manager you can upload stuff I guess and uh, test your connection I guess I really never used that before um, it must be something new I guess um, new look and feel okay system improvements uh, there's known problems so it's the splash screen the upstream and the moonlight okay so beware of these issues um, they're probably working on that as we're talking right now um, the system requirements uh, and at least a 32-bit processor it does it does have a 64-bit also um, there's you need at least 512 meg of system memory it says and four gigs of disk space and a graphics card that's capable of 800 by 600 okay and CD-ROM or USB whatever you want to use it to install it and that's it and then there's download links so um, I will be posting the you know the links to this video that I'm going to the blog and everything um, in the description okay anyways I'm gonna zoom out I'm going to minimize that. I've already got the um, the Linux Mint 10 uh, installed. I just finished installing it. So it's going to boot up right now. So I'll zoom in here so you guys can see all this. Hopefully it's not screwing up the video or anything. Because just what GTK record my desktop is like. And such. So. Um, yeah, that, that error, just ignore that. I've seen that error a few times already. And, uh, that's just how it is. I don't know exactly what the error is, so don't ask me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know what it is. Okay, it had a boot sound. That sounded pretty cool. And here I am. I'm going to log in real quick. And... With my previous experience with Linux Mint 9, I really liked it, and I'm a a, a big fan fan of uh, GNOME, and um, 
you know, uh, KDE is okay when I tried it in Linux Mint. KDE was okay. It was better than trying it on the other ones. But the only reason I tried it was because of the new update of 4.5. So, uh, there has been a great improvement with KDE, but I'm still not, you know, I'm still not comfortable with using uh, KDE. I'm more comfortable with uh, GNOME. So, um, this is 32 bit. It says, Welcome to uh, Linux Mint. Uh, thank you for choosing Linux Mint. We hope you enjoy using much of it as we designed it. The links below will help you get started in your new operating system. Have a great time. Don't hesitate to send us your feedback. That sounds awesome. They, they're, sounds pretty uh, like a great community. Um, and they got everything categorized for you. That's awesome. Documentation, support, projects, and community. Okay. And then I guess you can upgrade to a DVD edition here if you can see that. Um, okay. I'm going to close that. Now, uh, the, the first thing I noticed, like, uh, the, the, I w looked at the backgrounds and there's new backgrounds. So I saw that first background. I was like, you know what? I wonder that there's more background. So I took a look and check them out. Isn't that beautiful? Awesome. It looks really awesome. I like that. I don't know if these are new, but I'm just, you know, giving you a glance at these. And zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see that. Beautiful. I like that a lot. Looks mint is so beautiful. I like it. I'm probably gonna switch actually here in a bit. I don't know though if I want to use the IRC the RC. I probably want to wait for the uh, the fun, the actual re the official release. Uh, just I mean comment you know let me know what you guys think what I should do about that. So, anyways, moving on themes. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Like I said, the uh, there's themes down here at the menu. So all you gotta do is right click, preferences, and you know themes. Check them out. Mess around with it. Uh, you know, have fun. Have fun with it and check it out. I'll probably have to move this up. Close. And then you just go back in and see if you like it or not. And then um. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the search right down here so if you are looking for something in particular like um let's see uh i'm just gonna say something cheese okay look you can look it up you can go to google wikipedia and look it up okay so but um yeah you can just basically you know check out your themes and such you can that's what i like about that is you can have your own menu theme amazing very slick idea now the bookmark feature you basically if you wanted something you know um you can create a new folder or you know if you like to be somewhere else i'm just gonna you know throw this out whatever you just move it over bam that's simple so you got your own folder on the side as a shortcut now if you want to add it to the menu because you see how it doesn't show up in the places but it did back there all you gotta do is right click preferences option oh no where is this at places is this it yeah show gtk back okay oh it's not in there a bit odd. Hmm. Wonder why that didn't work. Okay, well, I'm just going to remove that from the side. Uh, and I believe you can just add it in that menu like I showed you earlier. But, um, anyways, uh, just give me a, uh, comments, rate, subscribe, you know, do your thing. I'll be posting some of the stuff that I said early in the in the video links and everything and such so um yeah that's about it guys is thanks for watching I appreciate it talk to you guys later